We're going to learn today about how to best estimate non-perfect squares without a calculator. Using a calculator, we can easily put them in, find to the nearest tenth. Simple, easy job. Sometimes, however, you're not going to have a calculator. You've got to kind of estimate what best it is. So the first step is we're going to try to find out our answer or our problem here is the square root of 3. We know it's not a perfect square, but we know from yesterday's activity that we have two perfect squares near it. So right before the square root of 3 is the square root of 1. Right after the square root of 3 is the square root of 4. Then we say, well, what are those? That is square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is 2. So I know my number lies somewhere in between 1 and 2. So now I'm going to look a little further. How far away is the square root of 1 from the square root of 3? Well, it's 2 away. How far away is the square root of 3 from 4? Well, it's only 1 away. So that means my number is actually closer. So if I think about this being in the middle as 1.5, I'm actually further this direction with my answer. So I'm not going to do 1.5 because they're not exactly the same even. So I'm going to pick something else. Maybe I start with 1.6. So now I'm going to come over to the side and check. I'm multiplying 1.6 times 1.6. I use out my long multiplication that I learned in fifth grade. 6 times 6 is 36. Carry my 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus my 3 gives me 96. I use my placeholder bob. And then 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. I had one place value here. One here for my decimal. So when I add these together, I got 6. 5, carry my 1, I get 2. Because I had 2 here, i got to move my decimal place to. So this is 2.56. Well, that's not quite um, back to, to 3, so I need to go a little bit further. Let's see what else I can do. What if I do 1.7? So 1.7 times 1.7. Multiply out. 1, 1, 1, placeholder, 7, 1. And I get 2.89. Well, that's closer to 3. Definitely closer than 1.6. So we know it can't be 1.6. 1.7 may be it. So let's double check. 1.8. Let's go up one more because we're going to the nearest tenth. So 1.8 times 1.8. 8 times 8. 4. 6. And this gives us uh, 14. Placeholder. And then we have 8 and 1. 4, 2, 3, 2 place values, 1, 2, so we have 3.24. Well, that's over 3, so this won't work. So we know our closest would be 1.7. Okay, so we round to the nearest tenth. So let's try another one. So the hardest thing about this is doing the, the multiplication, which you can use your calculator to help you with um, to do your checking, but I don't want you to just put this in your calculator. I want you to know the process. So we're looking for the perfect square before 38 and before uh, or after 38, square root 38. So I know this one's the square root of 36, which is 6, and I know this is the square root of 49. You can use your number line from yesterday to look. This is 7. So I know it's going to be in between, somewhere in between here is where my answer is going to be. So it's going to be 6 point something. 6 point something. So how far away is 36 from 38? Well, this is only 2 away, and this is 11 away. Well, we know halfway, if we think about how far these are total, that's a total of 13. So halfway would be 6.5. Well, we're nowhere near 6.5. This is way far away. So we're going to be somewhere down in here. So I'm just going to take a stab and do maybe 6.2 first and just see. So I'm going to do 6.2 times 6.2, multiply that out. And I get 38.44. I had two place values, 1, 2, so 38.44. Okay, well, that's kind of close. Um, let's see if I go down one more, what would be better? So 6.1 times 6.1. So here we have uh, 1, 6, placeholder, 6, 6, 3, 1, 2, 1, 7, 3, and two place values, I get 37.21. Well, this is lower, and let's see how much different. Well, this is only 0.44 more, but this is 0.79 less. So this one is actually closer. 
So it's because we use 6.2, 6.2 is our best estimate of the square root of 38. All right, let's go on to C. C is the square root of 69. I want you to try to do this one and then pause and come back and check your answer. All right, so when I work it out, I went with 8.3 first. I kind of figured out it's closer to the 8 because it was only 5 away from the square root of 64 versus 12 away. So like 17 in between those. So I kind of went closer. So I, try, I just picked 8.3 just off the top of my head just to see. Then I worked that out, and I seen that I got 68.89. Well, it's pretty close. It's only 11.11 away. And then I did 8.4 to see, could I get closer? Well, when I did 8.4 times 8.4, I get 70.56, which is away, 0.56 away, and then you're 1. So this one's much larger away, so 8.3 is my final answer. All right, let's do our last one, square root of 41. Pause your video, try it out, and see how you do. So when I work this one out, I guess for 6.3. And when I got my answer, I got 39.69, which is a little bit away from 41. So 1.31. So I went to 6.4. 6.4 times 6.4 gave me 40.96, which is only 0 0.04 away. So definitely much closer. So my estimate, best estimate to the nearest tenth is 6.4. So our procedure for this is we look at what perfect squares come before and after, and we write those down. What are roots of those perfect squares? So we write those down. And then we look how far away is our number for each from each. Then we take a best guess, and then we check ourselves to see what works, and we want to get the closest that we can. Now we'll talk in the future about some other ways to do this, but this will help you with your cons and with your practice.